Hi everyone, welcome to the OC Body. I'm your host, John Spencer Ellis. Today we're talking about turning passion of health and fitness into a career and helping other people find their voice so they can experience the joy and bliss of optimal health. And I have my good friend, Mark Montemurlo, and uh, he is an exceptional fitness professional uh, based in Hollywood, California. Welcome to the show. Thanks, John. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, man, I'm so glad you're here. You know, I started working out at a young age, and I know that you've been doing this for many years as well. My father was my influence. He was a bodybuilder. Uh, he made sure that I had that proper start. My, for my 12th birthday, I got my health club membership. And I think it was the best gift I've ever been given uh, because it's, it's who I am now. Yep. Uh, what makes you excited about fitness and then now having the ability to share that passion with others? Well, I think fitness today, John, is a, it's a lifestyle commitment. You can't just go into fitness and then leave it for a while and then come back to it if you're a little bit overweight or if you're feeling a little bit unfit. Or, so it's, it's my lifestyle. It's what I live. It's what I breathe. It's, it's, it's who I am today. I was very fortunate um, back in South Africa where I grew up. I went to the military. We had to go to the military. It was compulsory. And to prevent myself from going um, into um, the war zone, wow. um, I had to continue educating myself. So what I did is that I landed up doing a physical trainer's instructor's course, one of the hardest courses, and um, six weeks intense. And then I sort of fell into fitness. I thought, this is pretty neat because you had to work pretty hard, but then your nutrition had to be... So they introduced me to the lifestyle. I then found a gym and started working out. I found an aerobics room. There was music. There That's was when people. they called it aerobics? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, started working out, got certified, uh, became a trainer, uh, started working at the lower end of a gym. I was a floor instructor first. The, you know, I started there too. That's and, okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think that's uh, humble beginnings. Yeah. And then I was in a small city, and then I moved back home. I was in a, a much larger city in Johannesburg. And I started working for a fitness company and started lecturing for them and really started involving myself in educating myself, educating others to make a difference. I think what you said earlier is so important, and that is that it's not something you move in and out of. It's not something that, last week I did fantastic, this week I think I'll take it easy. Yeah. Obviously there's undulations to the, a person's workout program, there's a cyclical nature. However, a lot of people say, I'm getting back into it. I am going to get back on a fitness program. I'm going to start my diet again. This summer I'm going to get in great shape. No. Huh. No, it, it is your life. It is part of your identity. It doesn't mean you have to be obsessive about it. It means that this is something that you do to improve who you are, and it's part of your identity, and it's part of your daily and weekly routine and ritual. Yeah. It, a, a, a lot of times when I sign up new clients, they say to me, it's so easy for you because that's what you do for your living. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, well, it's... If I didn't do this for my living, I would still be doing it because it's who I am and it's, it's what I am about. A lot of times people have forgotten who they really are and what they really are because they're so engrossed with their environment that's around them that they, they really lose touch yes. with themselves. And I think with people's lifestyles today, the fast pace, the, um, the intense um, lifestyle living that they have, uh, they don't seem to really be in contact anymore. Well, it's that, hmm, how do I surmise this? They don't know how bad they feel because they've never really felt good. Correct. So they don't have the appropriate amount of contrast. And then as a fitness professional, we're able to bring them to that realization that, wow, there's something more to it. And I can get more out of every aspect of life when I am more fit and have a better understanding of how my body works from beginning to end. And when I'm healthier. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. When their energy levels are up, they understand that they can be doing more. Right. They can feel better about themselves. And they are in a better mood. <laughs> <laughs> and that, 
and that helps everybody. <laughs> so uh, no, I I agree with you 100. percent It's all about bringing it all together. That holistic approach, that multi-pronged perspective of health, fitness, wellness, nutrition, stress management, and understanding your body at the highest possible level. When we come back. Mark and I are going to talk about changing someone's passion for fitness into the pursuit of fitness and a fitness career. So stay with us. You're watching the OC Body. Go nowhere. Hold, please. I really want to become a personal trainer. I know I'd make a great life coach. I'd rather teach yoga. I want to teach Pilates. Nesta will make your dreams come true. Learn about our convenient distance training program. Earn your certification. Gain valuable business skills. Choose from personal training, Pilates, yoga, sports conditioning, life coaching, and more. Enjoy your dream career now. Call 877-FITNOW2 or visit nestacertified.com. Hi, my name is John Spencer Ellis, and I'm inviting the women of Orange County to experience Adventure Boot Camp. Adventure Boot Camp is the best way to get in shape fast. You'll enjoy strength training, cardio, obstacle courses, yoga, hiking, and core training. You'll lose weight, drop the fat, and feel incredible. Imagine, a month from now, you're leaner, stronger, and look better than ever. Please join us. This is the opportunity you need to get in the best shape of your life. 